Hi! Alright, this video today is about making art and specifically about how I go about making art and I use a lot of different tools to, uh, to do what I do in terms of being creative. Um, first of all, I want to please ask you to like and subscribe. Helps me to grow this channel. That's important for me, and I appreciate your support. If you want to support me even more, please go to my Patreon page on patreon.com uh, slash yourartdude. That's me, your art dude. Um, and you can follow me there. Doesn't cost anything. There are options to upgrade if you want to, but that's up to you. But you can do it for free, and there are dedicated chats uh, on my Patreon page where we can sit and talk about art and how I make art or how you make art and uh, engage in some really fun discussions about art you know and the things that really matter in life yeah like art so anyway <laughs> um, so my discussion about making art for me personally is a lot of what I do uh, my degree of course is in I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in printmaking and I incorporated at an early stage when I was in art school uh, photographic techniques so uh, and be having a Bachelor of Fine Arts a BFA as opposed to a Bachelor of Arts which is a BA BFA you have to take more hours it's all very uh, specific towards art so you have to take a lot more art classes uh, less of the other stuff like you know history and the things like that, which I find interesting, but that wasn't what I was there to study. Uh, but uh, I studied a lot of different things in the arts and took a, several different photography courses and uh, began to incorporate those photography techniques into some of my printmaking. And I continue to use that today uh, as a creative outlet and use a lot of uh, photographic based art. So that's what I do. Um, I use a lot of apps and some of the apps are kind of cool and kind of fun and there's lots of different ones we can certainly talk about that through some of the chats or in the chat here feel free to post comments and let's have some discussion here as well um, but uh, and I'm going to be teaching uh, or leading a couple of workshops coming up at the Central Virginia Community College here in Lynchburg uh, one is coming up uh, next month in August and then another one the month after that in September on digital art and uh, using these different apps and things like that in a, as a part of my creative process and showing others how they can incorporate that into their creative process. So that's kind of fun. I also have an online course on uh, Adobe Fresco which is uh, another app that I use in my creative process. There are a number of them that I use, um, but I like using these apps to change and uh, adapt my photography. So all of my images are photographs that I took. I think it's important for an artist to take their own photographs and not use uh, images that they find on the internet or something like that, because that's other people's art. Uh, so it's, uh, but you can certainly in occasions use somebody else's photographs and change them and create them. In fact, there was a recent lawsuit of the Andy Warhol Foundation suing an artist that was a photographer who had photographed uh, prints and had a spread in Vogue magazine and then um, the Andy Warhol Foundation then took those photographs and made some uh, prints of them, silk screens and but then they were using them in, in a way to promote and advertise and make money off of those and they didn't have permission to do that so it was a copyright infringement thing so that was all kind of interesting some of that is covered in my art news videos that are on this channel in a different playlist but feel free to check that out but I use these apps then to manipulate my photographs and change them and alter them and then export them into other programs and software like Photoshop for instance. Uh, all artists and photographers use Photoshop and Lightroom to change their photographs and adapt them and I certainly do that as well. Uh, 
sometimes I incorporate these uh, photos that I've adapted in other apps into Photoshop and continue to work on them and manipulate them and change them. So that's what I do as far as my creative process. Uh, if you want to check out some of my art that I do that with, check out uh, my website, yourartdude.com. My online store is store.yourartdude.com. And that's my online store, and you can see a lot of my artwork on there. There's a lot of it. So uh, feel free to check that out. If you have any questions or want to talk about anything, put it in the comments. But yeah, that's kind of how I use uh, photography and apps and things like that in my creative process. So tell me what you do. I'd love to hear some more, and let's do some chat, okay? Bye! Have a good weekend!